Yo, yo, yo. What's going on? Um, it's your boy Awo here, back again with another video. Today's May 5th, 2022. Today's an interesting day. So, today I had to get my pre surgical, like, uh, what is it? Pre surgical, like, evaluation. So, they had to check my heart and check my blood, give, get some blood, give some blood test so that I'm good to go to surgery um, May 9th. Um, and you're probably wondering, Dude, like, why do you have to get surgery? Well, I'm a, I'm kind of. That's why May fifth is like such an important day because it will kind of, you'll kind of understand why I have to get surgery on my knee again. Because last year, May fifth, 2021, I tore my ACL, and a lot's happened for me tearing my ACL. It's been a fucking journey, yo. Like, it's literally been a fucking just movie, and I've had to deal with so much, so many hills i've had to climb i've grown mentally so much within the past year and it's crazy how i'm here now but a lot's happened and i'm gonna kind of explain it all hopefully in a way that's not super boring um and yeah i'm also gonna work out too i'm gonna hit back today i'm supposed to do cardio but fuck that it's may 5th i'm gonna hit fucking back yo so yeah let's work out and let's kind of talk about it Let's go. So, May 5th, 2021, um, I'm playing basketball at LA Fitness. Just a normal pickup game. I, mind you, I haven't been playing basketball because of COVID, and I just haven't been playing a lot. So I'm pretty much out of shape, and I'm going up for a layup on the left side of the rim, feeling, I'm jumping up high and shit, you know me. And this guy, literally on the other team, comes out of nowhere, tackles me in the air, and I land on my left leg, and then hyperextends. So it pretty much like... That bitch, yeah, just hyperextended. And then I'd like flip. And I, I didn't flip, but like I. Well, after I hyperextended, um, oh my God, right after I hyperextended, I tried to get up and I was like, oh, like what happened, yo? I was literally just caught off guard and no one helped me up. The guy on my team was like, yo, like get your ass back up, bro. Like, fuck that. You just fell. Me, I'm like in the worst pain of my life. Um, no one helped me up. That was sad. Had to walk back to my car, limping. Couldn't put my shoes back on. Yeah, shit was sad, yo. I was like, dude, like I literally don't know what happened. Like I didn't even think of tearing my ACL was like a thing until I went to go see an orthopedic surgeon. Orthopedic surgeons. Oh man, oh man. You gotta make sure you pick the right one because some of them are shady, yo. It is what it is. Going back to what I was talking about, so, boom, tore my ACL, I'm, I don't know I tore my ACL, but I went home that day, iced my leg, and just like put a pillow in a chair, and just didn't know what to do, um, was trying to reach out to people, but like, I was just so distraught that day that like, nothing ended up working out, and so what I did was... Sorry, I was just making sure my audio is good. So what I ended up doing, I'm out of breath. I like look up like an orthopedic or a knee person. I'm like, hmm, let's see where to go. Find some guy in Plano. I'm like, bet. I go there, I think, not the next day, but the day after. So somewhere like May 7th, I guess. I go there. 
And like, they're like, oh, let's get an x ray. I get an x ray. Da, 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 da. I meet the doctor. His name is Dr. Robert Berry. Hey, y'all remember that name? Dr. Robert Berry. Remember that name for this entirety of this video. So yeah, I go see him. Da, 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 da. X ray. He's like, we need a little bit more. So he's like, go get an MRI. I'm like, bet. I get an MRI like a week later. Go back to him. I'm like, yo, doc, like, what's good? We go, I go back to him after the MRI, and he's like, you tore your ACL. I'm like, oh, really? Mind you, so this whole time, so it's probably been, once I found out about my, like, actually tearing it, it's probably been, like, two and a half weeks. All right? And that's important. So it's been two and a half weeks. I haven't been doing anything. I've been working from home, constantly leaving my leg, I have a pillow underneath my my knee, like the, the armpit of my knee, and it's like elevated, and that's it. No one tells me to do anything otherwise or anything. I don't see a physical therapist either, like, and so he tells me, he's like, all right, um, after the MRI, you know what? Let's get you surgery. Surgery in like two weeks, a week? I'm like, huh? Uh, Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. Just get immediately get surgery. I was like, fuck yeah. Like, let's do it. And so I get surgery June 1st of 2021. I got surgery. And man, oh man. <laughs> My life literally changed after that surgery. I thought it changed after the ACL tear. It was after the fucking surgery. I was like, damn, my shit. This, this is a 180 right now. But yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna go work out some more and then explain what happened after the surgery. You know the vibes. I'm gonna do more lat stuff. And I keep looking at myself, let me stop. I'm gonna do more lat stuff. And then make some biceps. And I'm gonna call it quits. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. My room's dirty as hell, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck this. I don't care. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? Alright. <laughs> We're finally back um, in the room, obviously. Yo, it's been a long day, but I'm getting through this. Um, I wanted to record this on May 5th, so I'm gonna get through it. So... The last clip of me talking about Dr. Barry. Now we're going to talk about post surgery. Post surgery. Now, post surgery was real tough for me, man. Like, first of all, just like the day after surgery, I was just like always in pain. I couldn't walk. He was saying you could, you could be, you should be able. To, he told me you should be able to walk on it, and I'm like, fuck, I can't. So, brother. So a week after my surgery, I'm starting I'm starting to experience chest pains. I'm like, hmm, like, what's going on? I don't know what this is. So me and my roommate, we go to the freaking um ER. Da 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 da. They tell me I have blood clots. Also, I am like, like the situation was so much more worse than this. But I'm trying to like get through the story. Like I was like on my deathbed type shit. But anyways, this first ER was pretty much shit, but they told me I had blood clots and I go home after going to that ER and that night I went home from, from the first ER. Yo, I was in the worst, like literally deathbed 
just dying in my bed. I was like, <gasps> like, bro, could just couldn't do anything, yo. So I'm like, fuck. I just like hold it out to the morning. Call Sam. I'm like, yo, like, we got to do something, yo. I don't know what's going on. Literally, there's an ER. I live next to an ER, but I went to a one farther than farther than me, like an idiot. But I'm so much more knowledgeable now that it doesn't even matter. But yeah, so we go to Baylor Scott and White. <clears throat> Um, and they help me out. I get hospitalized for like two, three days. Um, they check my heart, they check my lungs and like, they just try to, you know, make sure I'm good. They really help me out, man. I fucking love those people. And so now <clears throat> I'm on blood thinners for three months. Um, and yeah, and I'm having to go through physical therapy as well. And so <clears throat> This is kind of like the last, the physical therapy part is probably the biggest chunk to all this, this entire story, because there's a, there's a lot, but it just takes up so much time, but I'll explain it. So prior to my like injury, that whole, like, so I got injured on May 5th and got surgery June 1st during that time period. I wasn't doing anything. I was fucking just like lame. Had my foot up like this, just fucking laying, yo, while doing work. It's not what you're fucking supposed to do, yo. You're supposed to fuck seeing an orthopedic, see a fucking physical therapist if you're in that situation. Why? Because the orthopedic wants to just get you in fucking surgery. They want to put you under immediately. Boom, you go see a therapist. And they're like, okay, let's do these. Let's do this for about four four weeks and see how your range of motion in your knee feels before we put you under. And that's why I fucked up. So I had no range of motion prior to my surgery. And so when I, and then I had blood clots. So that fucked up my rehabilitation even more and not having range of motion. So when I started PT, yo, I was like this. Like this, yo, I was literally like fucking this, yo, my fucking, and so it took literally so long for me to even get decently straight. My like legs still isn't straight, yo, like, and, and, and it's funny because I started seeing one of my, um, the, the, my physical therapist, her name is Emma. Um, she's a doctor, obviously Dr. Emma, I don't know. I don't have to say her last name, whatever. But Emma, she's a goat. She she's kind of stuck through this whole thing, trying to figure out like what's going on. And literally, I think it was one of the the first or fifth, third, fourth session. She was like wondering, like, damn, like my range, your range of motion, da 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 da. Like it's not getting any better with what we're doing. She's like, hmm, you might have a cyclops lesion. I don't know what the fuck that is, yo. What the fuck is a cyclops lesion? whatever so i'm going through physical therapy i'm slowly getting better it's probably about november december and i'm just like of 2021 and i'm just like bruh like let me go back to let me go back and see dr barry and like maybe he might have some answers for me mind you like i still hate this guy like he he never gives good information yo like ever Yes, my ACL is still intact, but fuck, like, I'm... Just because my ACL is still intact doesn't mean everything outside of that isn't, yo. It's just, like, everything outside of the... Just, like, the ACL itself is just fucked. Like, my knee and, like, my mind, my body, it's just, like, whatever. So, I go see Dr. Barry, November, December of 21, obviously. Bro, this nigga tells me... He's, like, looking at my leg. He's, like, oh, okay, uh... Oh yeah, like you look, you're starting to get better. Okay, he's like, I want to see you start jogging, and we'll see you in three months. I was like, what? You want to see me jog, bro? You want to see me jog, bro? How am I jogging? I can, I barely walked in here as it is, yo. I was struggling to walk in here, and you want me to start jogging? Like, think about that. Does that make sense? Bro, I was literally looking at him like, like, nigga, you're a whole ass doctor and you want me to jog? Huh? Like, I don't want to slander his name or anything, but like, bro, how obvious is that shit? Whatever. 
Bro, I'm like, this nigga really wants me to start jogging? How? I can barely fucking walk, yo. Nah, dude, that shit really like fucked me up because I was like, this is a whole ass doctor that has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Like, actually, yeah, he can do surgery. Yeah, he can do this, whatever. But he wanted me to start whatever. So I'm like heated, dude. I'm just like, my mind is like, yo, like, I need to find something else. Um, whatever. I need to like figure out my issue because I'm not getting better. I'm kind of getting stronger, but my knee still isn't straight, bro. Like, what the fuck? So I'm still so I'm not gonna talk more about this, but anyways, I'm doing physical. Sorry, let me just move on to another portion. So I find um this is it's 2022, woo, new year, whatever. And I'm still like fucking Dr. Barry, like that guy. I need to find someone that's like that knows what the fuck they're talking about, yo. So I'll find this doctor in Fort Worth. Um, pretty credible, like, you know, a lot of people have worked with him, residency, all this stuff. And I'm like, all right, bet. So talk to him, get an MRI after I see him. He's like looking at me, he's like, oh yeah, like da da da. Like you have some scar tissue in there. I'm like, yeah, I do. I go get an MRI. I go and then they call me after I get my MRI, the the orthopedic surgeon, the one I'm the one I'm the uh, new one I'm seeing, and he tells me I have a cyclops lesion. So the the same shit that I had like probably like three weeks out of surgery. The same shit that like my therapist was saying, but the surgeon was like, you can start running now. Huh? So I've had this, I've literally, bro, bro, I've been dealing with this shit for no reason. Y'all could have got Ben got this whole fix, but instead I like, I just been like struggling this whole time to fucking just like walking and being able to like live my life how I want. Like, yo, I can't even stand at concerts for more than like 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, two minutes without fucking just being in pain, like standing fucking still like this, yo, like, holy fuck. It's so frustrating, bro. Like, like the medical industry is just like so fucked, yo. There's so many dumbasses. I don't give a fuck if you have your fucking doctorate. Like, holy shit, you can still be a fucking idiot. Like, like brain cells, you you can still not have brain cells and still have your doctorate. I guess. Like, holy fuck. It's just frustrating because I've been trying to like, I've been dealing with this like mentally, physically, and financially. Like, dude, yo, I've been like down fucking bad. I never show that shit, but damn, bro, I've really been down bad. So I get, so this comes to present time today. I had went to, let me see if I can find my wristband. I went to, you can't even fucking see it, whatever. I went to, I had talked about it earlier, but I was at a surgical medical center, whatever hospital. And I am going to get surgery next Monday. So I had to get like blood work, EKG on my heart. Bro, I've gotten my blood work done like probably seven times in the past two months. Like niggas are making sure I'm good. Like they're not trying to <laughs> make sure I get blood clots again or anything. Like uh, the people I'm working with are like really like, you know, really care for me and they want me to be good. And um. I'm happy. I'm like excited for it. I'm still nervous. Like today, I was kind of nervous just thinking about it. Like especially today is like the literally exactly a year from last year when I tore my ACL, and so it's just like a lot of like emotions and just like just frustration from the whole situation. Um, I don't know, man. It's just like. And like the thing is, like I tell, I explain to people, but I feel like niggas don't understand. Like, like niggas downplay my situation. Like, oh, like you need to be um, doing this, this, and this. Like, bro, what? Like, you don't know shit. Like, you don't even know what a cyclops lesion is. I don't even know what the fuck that was at one point. And so I feel like hella people downplayed my shit. But I ain't even gonna call anyone out. But whatever. Um, but yeah, so pretty much surgery, they're going to take out scar tissue and hopefully I'll be able to straighten my fucking knee again. I really hope so. Um, I'm thinking recovery is probably like 
Hopefully I get my range of motion back in three months. We'll see. This first week, bro, I'll probably be struggling. Gonna have a CPM machine fucking like doing my knee like this. Hopefully I'll be going to physical therapy. And yeah. <laughs> if you have any questions about like my situation, um, I did this kind of off the dome just cause like there's no way I can just like write this out, write out a script and be like, okay, so like here's my fucking story. Nah, fuck that. Like, I'm just going to say it off the dome. If you got it, you got it. If you did it, I don't know. Go to my Instagram and fucking see one of my posts about my GoFundMe because I needed to raise money. I don't fucking know. Who cares? But um, if y'all enjoyed the video, I really appreciate it. Um, Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me pretty much rant this whole time. Um, And yeah, you have a beautiful day. Peace.